guys and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith and today I am excited because out of all the people on the internet, <laughs> I think I'm about the only person that has not made a math pack. <laughs> Is it just me? Everybody I've been seeing online has been making a math pack and while they are super super cool, I just have not had time. So when I ran into Lux Custom Fabrics, um, they had a post on Facebook, somebody was sharing some of the panels that they were making. I was like, hmm, let's give it a go. <laughs> so most of the panels that are out right now have all of your outer fabrics and all of your linings, which is great, but the price was kind of high for somebody like me that wants to make them and then resell them. They were kind of high. And so I noticed that they only sold the front. Now they sell the entire outside of the bag but they were running just like the outer panels by themselves. And I thought it was really cool because it would give me opportunity to spend like six bucks on the main panel, which is fine, and then just use whatever vinyl I had at the house that I spent like nine bucks on. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out the Lux Custom Fabrics um, panel, and we are going to be adding a water bottle holder. <laughs> I am making this for my mom and everywhere she goes, she has to have a bottle of water with her. She drinks a lot of water and she has to have a lot of stuff with her. So I am hoping that with this bag being that thick and with the water bottle on the outside, hopefully it'll work. We'll see. Let's get started. All right, it's a billion degrees outside and editing face is going to be so annoyed by the AC in the background, but it's, it's hot. So. Sorry about the noise. All right, first thing that we're gonna do is I went on Illustrator this morning and I knew kind of what the shape was that I wanted. And so I, what I did was I made a bunch of different sizes so that I could kind of pick when I came upstairs um, what size I was gonna use. And I didn't, couldn't take my water bottle to my computer and see what size it was. So I just kind of like placed it on top just to see even with um, seam allowance and all of that to see which one would work best. Um, I think because the math pack is so small, you really do not want to have like a really big tumbler on the side of it. <clears throat> I think the biggest you're gonna wanna do is just a small water bottle. Otherwise, it'll be really heavy and it won't work like it's supposed to. So, I think this three by three is what I'm gonna use as my little water bottle holder. So I'm gonna get that cut out and then get my vinyl and start cutting everything up. I made an executive decision because I have a tendency to make things too small and I'd rather this be too big than too small. So I cut out the three and a half by three and a half so I make sure that I have enough room for seam allowance and all of that. So I cut out my three and a half by three and a half. Now what you're gonna need to do is take the tape measure and go around this and see how much material I'm gonna need to go around this corner. All right, so nine inches. I wanted to go ahead and make mine five inches tall so that it kind of held enough of the water bottle while it's in there, I mean, it's still gonna have a lot poking out, but I feel like that's a good measurement so that it's not, cause they, the bag is only but so big. And I might could have gone like five and a half. But anyway, that's the size that I decided to make it. So now I need to cut out five by nine so that I can have the material to go around my little piece. So I'm gonna take these two pieces and use them as a template for my lighting fabric. I'm gonna go cut that out real quick. I've been wanting to do like a thought process video on how I make my sew-alongs and then I changed my mind a lot. <laughs> and I think you guys would just be annoyed with me. So I went ahead and just kept thinking about it and I went ahead and made it five and a half because again, we're gonna have seam allowance in this. Um, so I made it five and a half tall by nine. Next thing I did was I found the center of it and then I found the center of my lining and I'm gonna match up the centers. Uh, we're gonna be putting the lining and the outer fabrics together separately. 
I'm going to match up this side and then I'm going to match it up all the way around. I am going to stop real quick and interface my pieces. I think I could, I think I'd be all right without it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it just to make sure that it's longer lasting and all that jazz. But I'm going to go ahead and do the lining so I can show you and then I'll do the outer panel off camera and I'll show you when I'm finished with everything. So your bottom panel is going to look like that and that's going to be the inside. So let me go interface these pieces and then we'll move on. All right, so I got that all done. I went ahead and just kind of base stitched all the way around. We've got our zipper gusset done. They measure one and three quarters by 12. Yes, one and three quarters by 12. Make sure you put your zipper on, don't forget. Um, then to go on the back of this piece, I measured a five and a half piece by three and a half. What I'm gonna do is about a little over a quarter of an inch, eh, half inch. I'm gonna put these together and clip them all the way around and then kind of base stitch these two pieces together so that it kind of goes on the back like that. And then I have a 14 inch by three and a half inch. This is gonna be my very, very bottom gusset. So let's go to the sewing machine and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so let me let me explain. All right, um, so this piece right here is five and a half inches tall. I attached the front to the lining. I just left the lining as long as I could, um, but now I know the bottom lining is 19 inches total. 
Um, and then this piece right here that's going back to the next side of the zipper, that is going to be 14, yeah, 14 inches. So I just connected the 14 inches to the bottom of this and then to the other end of the zipper. Now I took my 19 inch lining and I've clipped it all up so that I can make it into one um, gusset total. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch over this and then uh, base stitch on both the sides. All right, guys, what did you think? <laughs> All right, so as far as Lux Custom Fabrics vinyl, I really, really like it. It reminds me of another vinyl they used to get a long time ago. I want to say it was Twisted Needle. I can't remember. But it's kind of like not super thick, but like the texture of it or whatever, it just feels thicker. I don't know how else to explain it. I like it. It's great to sew with. Um, I don't have any of the like little puncture holes and I was using a larger needle. Um, so I don't have any of that. Some vinyls that I get, um, I have to use on a smaller needle. Um, otherwise, I'll have like a bunch of puncture lines in it. Um, so with this one did really, really well. I was very surprised and very pleasantly surprised. Um, so I like the panel as a whole. It looks really, really nice. Um, in per I think it just looks nicer in person. I can't take very good pictures. <laughs> so um, I just think it looks nicer in person. Now, the water bottle add-on. <laughs> if I had to do this again, I would probably put another one on the other side. I feel like it's a little off balance. Um, as far as how it came together, I feel like it came together really easily and easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I'm pleased with how that turned out. I think she's going to be really happy to be able to carry her water bottle with her wherever she goes. I feel like it's deep enough that she's not going to have to worry about like it falling out. Um, so I feel like that's the good size. The five and a half was a good way to go. Um, and I just feel like it was, I don't know, hopefully.
hopefully she's going to like it. If not, I'm going to cry. <laughs> So, if you like this video and you want to give it a thumbs up, please click the like button. Um, or if you want to subscribe and see some of the other stuff that I'm coming out with, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Or if you have any questions, comments about this, I can probably um, try and see if I can put my Illustrator thing on Etsy if you guys want it. If you wanted to try something like this, um, just let me know in the comment section down below. Go check out Lux Custom Fabrics. They are actually a uh, U.S. based company. I believe they print everything themselves um, and I think their turnaround is a little bit faster. Um, I think it was like two weeks maybe, less than that. And, but they've been really getting busy lately. I've seen a lot of people on their page um, showing off their makes and getting fabric printed. So. If you want to get something ordered, you better go soon. <laughs> I have a feeling their turnaround time is going to get longer the busier they get. But it's really cool to have someone in the U.S. Um, printing fabric. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for joining us again on FaceWorks Designs. Bye, guys.